and Showbiz Shelley, and I'm here with A.D. Bryant, cover star of Michigan Avenue Magazine. How does that feel? Very good. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you have a lot of Chicago ties, so can you sort of, for those who don't know, talk about your connection to the city? Yeah, so I came to Chicago uh, to go to Columbia College downtown, and I loved it there, but I also started doing shows around town at I.O. and The Annoyance, and then once I graduated, I started working at Second City, and that's where I was when I got hired by SNL. So do you have any memories of Second City thinking back? Like, is there one night where maybe, like, I don't know, you failed miserably on stage? Or is there anything that sticks out to you? Yes. Tell me. Nights. Tell me. Tell me one many of them. nights. Um, well, you know, sometimes at Second City, they do something called a buyout, mm -hmm. where an entire group will buy out the theater, and they will make up all of the audience. And once we had a buyout from... Uh, Texas and I believe they were all like police chiefs <laughs> from Texas uh -huh. and I think they weren't my target demo <laughs> yeah it wasn't yeah. a great fit oh, no. so I was like all right that was a good one on to the next one <laughs> what do you do in that situation because it probably happens to every now and again on SNL right where like something doesn't hit yeah, yeah. so what do you do you just kind of I, I mean now I kind of love it those are really? like my favorite <laughs> because <laughs> they're just they feel so insane and you're like this is funny to me <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So you kind of just have to move on, yeah, go with I the flow. So. And I have to tell you, I went to the SNL museum because you know there oh was cool, the yeah. yeah. You've been, I assume. I have not. Been you haven't been. I live okay. the SNL museum. So often, you don't need so to go. Yeah, that's no, true. Good. So the thing that struck me is just the amount of work that this yeah. show is, the crazy amount, and the writing. It seems like it's just. I don't even know if people realize it's yeah. like some. Is, isn't one night like an overnight yeah, all it's night? Tuesday night, we're there all yeah. night, and we write all dang night. <laughs> and so, what is that like? I mean, tell me a little bit, like a little. Insight. Yeah, I mean, it's exhausting. In a lot of ways, it's the process that we did in Shrill, but you do it in one week. So you pitch your idea in the beginning, you write it on Tuesday, you read it on Wednesday, rehearse it Thursday, Friday, and it's up on Saturday. Um, and then something like Shrill, that process takes two years. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. And then Sundays, you just, like, pass out? Yeah, I don't do anything on Sundays. Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so speaking of Shrill, everybody loves this show oh. on Hulu. And what for you has been the most rewarding part of getting to do it? Oh, I mean, it's super empowering to pitch a show, write it, act it, and, you know, cast it, all these things that it takes to make it and really see your, your dream come to life. It's the great, yeah. the greatest. <laughs> and I think I saw you said on Jimmy Fallon, like, people are coming up to you in the street just, yeah. like, crying. Like, what is yeah. that moment like? No, it's so overwhelming. I mean, I think I assumed that this was just a show for a very niche group of women, but I think what I'm realizing is that, Anyone with a body can relate to a lot of the feelings <laughs> that are in this story, and that's everybody. Yeah, <laughs> so. absolutely. And so um, you said that you come back to Chicago a lot. Yeah. And so when you come back, what do you have to do? Is there anything that, like, oh. you just have to do when you come? Yeah, I mean, I always visit my family, my mm -hmm. best friends. Um, I like to hit up some of my old spots, which, you know, maybe aren't the most glamorous, but that's, like, where I used to go late night after doing improv. I would go to the Pick Me Up Cafe and – other places like that, and that's like where I put in a lot of hours there. So I like <laughs> to go back and visit. <laughs> and speaking of friends, because I'm just such a huge SNL person, are you guys? Are, I feel like you and Kate McKinnon are really close. Yeah, yeah. we share an office, and we yeah. started together. So it's like, you know, naturally, yeah. you're just like you put in hours together. <laughs> you're super close. I bet. Is, are, and is everyone just sick of hearing about Pete's dating life? Like, is everyone just? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, I think we all love and support Pete, so it's yeah. like, God bless. God bless. Yeah. And Godspeed. Yeah. yeah, so what else? Anything else you want? Anything big coming up for you that you want to oh, talk about? Oh, I mean, this is it for me. This is this is all I got. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know you said Shrill is kind of like the main focus for yeah, you right now. Totally, yeah, totally, yeah. Kind of all your energy. Well, Adi, thank you so much. My so pleasure. great to meet you. Thank and congrats you. again.